Hi, Siren DeMare. Hi, Princess Donna. How are you doing this evening? I am wonderful. How about you? I'm doing very well. Good. Tell me what you're here for. Public disgrace. How are you feeling about it? Very excited. Yeah? yeah. Tell me what you're excited about. Knowing you and your imagination and not quite mm -hmm. knowing what's going to happen tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, you know, and the, that is, it's just the whole public disgrace. It's the just that in itself and getting out there and just being disgraced and, mm -hmm. and getting lots more dick and uh, <laughs> just yeah. the, the sexual fantasy thing again. Yeah, so like the idea of being um, a plaything and doing whatever your master tells you to do and fucking whoever they tell you to fuck, you know, yeah. uh, being an object and a toy. And being audience. watched by lots of people. That's, yeah, seeing that. Um, I didn't realize after your birthday party, that audience, like watching, was just a massive turn on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm excited that there's going to be an audience again tonight. Mm -hmm. And and just knowing, because, you know, it's like I'm into that whole voyeur thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when we were doing gangbangs at home, we would always have a couple, few people that wouldn't partake. Mm -hmm. And that would watch, mm -hmm. and it's just hotter than hell knowing that you know here's this couple, mm -hmm. you know that's just sitting watching the whole action, and you can just see them just getting more and more intense and more horny, and their yeah. hands are like digging into their thighs, yeah. and, and it's like I feed off of that, mm -hmm. and so it just it just goes back and forth.
what is going on guys we are live yet again and uh i don't know i don't know about vicky i see her her mic is muted there we go i'm sorry about that no it's fine actually i don't know why i, know, I said you anything it that way happy new year everybody yeah same to you vicky <laughs> uh, uh Mr. Dong says Vicky taking a page out of Finatra's playbook. Yeah, I think I'm a little smarter than that. I don't. I do. Nah, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Maybe. I don't no know. See, like, sense. either way, I insult either you or Finatra. Sorry, Finatra. Yeah. Me uh, too. Puma Fist says, what's up, witches and warlocks? Happy New Year's. Vicky says something. Let's just forget that. Uh, Twitter is cancer. Says Happy New Year. I've been banned from Twitter, which is cancer. It is cancer. Not with Daddy Musk. Just joke. Even with Daddy Musk. Especially, maybe. Especially with Thomas Royloop says the Dreamy Milf show. I'm still waiting for the Dreamy Milf. <laughs> Twitter is cancer. Says, Oh no 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 no! You're gonna play the safe parts. EVS unavailable for comment. Don't worry, we have screenshots. We do. Oh. Yeah. And there's there are definitely screenshots. A public a public disgrace indeed. Sorry, Finatra. Hello, Mort. Uh Bubba Fat says, Does this make your boy a coom dumpster? Hmm. Hmm. That's a possibility. Hargrave speaks in emojis. Uh and and more stuff. Twitter's Cancer says, Rakeda, Meyer, can EVS be far behind? Phrasing. <laughs> and Bubba Fat says, I thought the MILF was Distance Mom. Was Dean in the video too? No comment. No comment. Uh, Simple Jack Live says, Smash the like. GG's. Nice to see you, Simple Jack. Yeah, please, go ahead and like the stream unless you don't like it. Then I guess uh, give it a thumbs down. That's cool, too. Uh, but go ahead and chat in the chat. The chat is always friendly. Not true. Not true. Yeah. I don't know why I just lied like that. I don't know why you lie like that either, Dean. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Usually you don't try to kiss the chat's ass. This is this is a whole new Dean for a new year. You're right. That was wrong. That was wrong. Yeah, me. it was very wrong. Yeah. But we have uh, screenshots, guys, so I guess maybe we'll just jump into things. How do you feel about that? I, I'm good. Uh, anyway. No, you're not. Uh, by the way, this bitch watched the porno. Yeah, I did. So, shameful. Shameful, Dean Vicky. didn't. I did not. Pussy. He didn't. No. No. I didn't. But I, I sat through it. And there's our little JDA. He'll be watching it. He'll be watching. If he hasn't already. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's just jump into these screenshots, guys. Uh, <laughs> I guess for any of you that don't know. Uh, I guess for any of you that don't know, uh, your boy Zach was apparently in a porno. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, and uh, we got screenshots. So, okay. here's, here's the first one. Yes. Um, let's see if you can. Is that? Yeah, you can see him standing over there on the left side, watching, watching. like he's a Nick um, Ricada, just okay, watching. Okay, so it, yeah, I, I'll, I'll give you guys a blow by blow. Reason. Oh, I love um, blow by blow <laughs> or blow for blow. This is different. Yeah. So this is this takes place in a shoe store. God, I I, I want to throw out all of my shoes now, and that would be tragic. Um, and the, the quote master and the MILF, um, sub MILF come out of this door and she's on all fours on a leash and the master parades her around the shoe store. And, um, this is right after they enter. Um, that's him in the black t-shirt, the blurry shit is her ass. And then of course there's your boy, Zach and his date over on the left hand side. Yes. 
Uh, yeah. Thomas Royloop says, I remember hearing rumors about Richard being in a porn a long time ago, though no one knew which one or had any pictures, so it kind of disappeared. I do remember that rumor as well. And today, and today it comes out. Well, uh, like yesterday, I think. I said today, the... Vicky. All right. Well, it was originally posted on the farms yesterday, but the farms were down. Yeah. Uh, if that's really Zach, he's freaking handsome. Look at him, dude. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. It's getting sad in the chat, I guess. Thanks, Vic. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, explain what's happening here, Vicky. You watched I, it. I did. And it's so sad. It's so, um, this, I, I believe is, uh, he puts her up on a table, and, and then, I feel like um, it's sure pretty she, obvious what's going on here. What he's, yeah, I think it is too. But yeah. Yeah, then again, you can see if you want to like zoom in on on the background of the picture, you can see Zach standing there with his USMC sweatshirt and his girlfriend. Um, yeah, we didn't want to have not there in the back well yeah i mean i still i have to <laughs> I, I can't do both at the same time i have to zoom and then you guys and are lucky in. enough i did leave the title of the um film <clears throat> up there so you guys can google it and go find it for yourselves later. dreamy milf behaves herself like a perfect sub should sub, yes yes yeah still waiting for the dreamy milf still waiting for the dreamy milf um this is the okay so there's this there's yes the explain master, what's going on here vicky it is it is sort of self-explanatory there was a guy that seemed to be having a little initial uh performance anxiety and um you know the master whips out this um or <laughs> with a dildo attached it's like a big old broomstick um and and Zach really um, seemed to appreciate that. He he actually. does kind of look like he's he's yeah, appreciating he looks it. Really excited by it. Yeah. Yeah. And his um, date looks unimpressed. Yeah, the, oh no, she she um. Who is she sleeping just, with? That she looks I, unimpressed by that. Well, she she starts off a little stiff, um, but she really gets into it as oh. as things go along. All right. Yeah. Okay. And Mr. Dongs is correct. This was the perfect opportunity to rep the Marines. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one I think we probably could have done with that. This is this is actually yes, um yes. as they're using the pulled dildo. Um no Richard did not grab an oar, um, just like in Comics Gate. Um, but you can see him standing in the background, like he wants to grab that oar. Over, he wanted to grab that oar. He just kept leaning over, trying to like get a better look. Yeah. 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 So what's happening to the chick here, Vicky? Could you? I, I, they were using he, the a complete stranger um was using the oar dildo on her. Okay. You're All welcome, right. Dean. I can't believe I had to watch this fucking. I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't have. Well, you weren't going to get the screenshot. I was not. All right. Um, what seemed to grab... Intrigued. Uh, well, yes. What seemed to have intrigued Meyer the most was when she was being fisted, um, which is what's happening here. He kept kind of nudge in. Um, like, let me get, get in a... on that. Let me... You won't be able to... I blurred it out. No, no, no. But I'm he... just saying that's him. Like He's like, oh, let me... I mean, yeah, get in on that. He, he's definitely he kept nudging in closer, trying to get a better look. Um, as some guy was shoving his fist up her. Uh, Thomas Royloop asks a good question: Was it Sheila Aliens? No, it was not. No, it wasn't Thomas. I just got Sorry. the scoop for you. It was not. It was not. Yeah. So I can't believe we're doing a blow by blow of a fucking porn video. This is. Crazy. Yeah, usually blow by blow is when I blow people for coke, but yeah. But, but today it's uh, it's it's going tonight over it's Zach's me porn. Explaining Zach's porn video. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, uh, what is this, Vicky? What is um, what, what's going as, on here? As I as I said earlier, 
uh, Zach really liked the fisting. So as it was happening, he started grabbing on, he, he grabbed the chick's tit and then um, started moving down um, towards her vagina. But I guess he got, he also got a little performance anxiety and, and I think maybe stopped just short um, but in her pubic hair anyway. Yeah. Pubic region. But he he did decide to go for a little bit of participation. Well, good. Which, I'm which glad was he's encouraged, getting in. apparently. Yeah. This was encouraged participation. So there was one freaky <laughs> little weirdo that kept like spanking her with shoes. He just kept picking shoes up off the shelves. Like he started with his own shoe originally and then um, started picking shoes up off the shelves because shoe store and started like spanking her with them. Another one that kept grabbing her tit and trying to milk it like a fucking cow. I mean, it was just, you know, and then, of course, you had the guys taking turns fisting her. Oh, huh, interesting. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was all very interactive. It was uh, an interactive. Lunga. Lunga is what, uh, asking, what the fuck is on the screen? Uh, this is not YouTube friendly. Oh. Well, it is because we blurred out all the. Yeah, YouTube, we blurred it out, know. Lunga. We blurred out Stop all the. Stop being a that. prude. Don't be a prude. Yeah, yeah exactly. don't be a prude, Lunga. Of all people, Lunga. Yeah, stop kink shaming us. <laughs> oh, they look they look very pleased with what they're watching. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Oh indeed. no, his crotch is on the back of my head. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. She, like I said, she started getting really into it. Um I believe this may be either right before or right after she she grabbed Richard's crotch. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And uh not not the not the sub, but his date. Yeah. So it looks is, like she's getting right. double teamed while uh while he Oh, well, she's being double teamed the whole, double team, triple team the whole time. Yeah, yeah. While Richard Meyer chokes his date. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else of note in this one? No. Okay. <laughs> what what what's going on here, Vicky? Um why are they in a shoe store? S S Hargrave. Shoe. Yeah, same thing. That's just it's just Richard. I think she's being fisted again. Richard was trying to like get around for for a better look. Okay. Uh Hargrave's wondering why they're in a shoe store. Do you have an answer, Vicky? I do not have an answer for that. All I know is apparently they just do these filmings in public places and maybe the shoe store owner has his was probably there in the crowd. He's probably, you know. <laughs> Morg uh They says, probably all hook up on Fet Life and the next thing you know they're in a shoe store banging a sub. That's fair. Uh Morg yeah. says at least Zach got paid. Ethan just got some free pizza. He may not have gotten paid. Yeah, I feel like this For is... all we know, he paid to be there. Oof. Hmm. I don't know. Mm. Actually, I could see that given his terrible, like, investing uh, suggestions. <laughs> I could see him paying to be there. All right. Number 10. What is, what, right. what is this, Vicky? What, what... This one I will... This, this is... Um... She's licking her finger? She is licking her finger. Yeah, Meyer's date. Um, yeah, so this is after um, she's being she's being um, rammed anally by one guy. Another guy jerks off on her face, and some of it gets on the table. And when she leans up, Myers' date leans forward, runs her finger on the table, and then sticks her finger in her mouth and licks up some strange man's cum. And then just... and. Uh, Myers kind of grabs her tit and you hear him, you can see him whispering in her ear and then she nods like, yeah, I really did enjoy it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, Lunga, very disturbing. Lunga's asking uh, the tough questions. Uh, is that Dean in the background checking phone? Checking his phone? No, no, that, that was the shoe fetish guy. Dean doesn't have a shoe fetish. Yeah, totally not me. I don't have a shoe fetish. Um, <laughs> And we got one more picture for you guys. One more. Let's see. Yes, she looks right at them at the end. Wow. It's all over. 
um, the girlfriend and um, has just finished applauding because everybody applauded <laughs> after. I, fucking weirdos. And um, yeah. And but what's funny is like the girlfriend, you could totally tell the girlfriend was getting off on it. Right. So she's she's standing in front of um, Meyer hiding his his heart on. Right. Mm -hmm. And she's like, she's doing that thing where she's arching her back and pushing her ass into his into his pelvis. And um, every time somebody would go at the the sub with the little um, electrode mini cattle prod thing, she'd be like, "Ooh!" and I swear to God, at one point she came while she was just standing there. I shit you not. I mean, it, it was just. You know, she was doing the thing with her knees standing together and her toes kind of pointed in, all pigeon toed, and her ass up. So, just grabbing uh, onto her tits. It was. Mr. Dongs says, uh, the real milkshake girl. The real milkshake girl. All right. Touching stuff, especially that nice, uh, longing look at the end here. Yeah. Because, you know, as she said in the introduction, she really likes the couples that just, you know, watch and you can tell they're getting off on it and apparently you know i mean she realized because those were the only two that didn't didn't touch her well i take that back richard grabbed her tit and went to grab her vagina yeah. um but they for the most part they were off to the side in that very antisocial way that um richard c meyer sees have yeah thomas Royloop says so richard knows cum dumpsters from personal experience I'm hoping uh, this broad he's with isn't the mother of any of his kids. Huh. Never even thought hmm. about that. I hadn't thought about that either. Thank you for I putting forgot. that thought into my he, head. He had kids. Huh. Uh, Bubba Fat says, the girlfriend looks old enough to be his own mom. Mm, she looks to be about his age, actually. Um, older, maybe. Um. Yeah, well, he's older. He's he's in his forties, I think. Yeah, yeah. The best performers, money buys. Uh, Mr. Dong says, definitely can't question Zach's authority on who's a cum dumpster now. That is true. Yeah, very true. Uh, Lunga says, fix the scaling on your pop up, Dean. It's always cut off. It's actually really hard to get the scaling right. It always so <laughs> you're just gonna have to deal with it, Lunga. All right. Uh, you're welcome for that horrifying thought, says Thomas. I may Roland. never, I may never forgive you, Thomas. Uh, Biggie Bogan says, Mark Wade versus Richard Meyer. Who's got the more morals now? Hmm. hmm. Uh, M H Comics Invictus says. Just woke up from a booze nap. What the fuck is this real? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, I spent an hour watching it today. And let's just so, go through these pictures uh, just faster <laughs> this time. Why don't, so we, why here, don't we play the... Here. Why don't we play the, no, 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 no. We're going to do it. What, what I say, Biggie. Shut up. Fine. So oh, here we one have, one. Uh, you know, the, the chick being paraded around. Uh, and, and Richard Meyer is just watching there. He's on his... Uh, Ricada Poulter like behavior. Um, here the chick is getting uh, railed from behind. Uh, Richard C. Myers seems to be enjoying watching this. His date though seems a little standoffish. At first. At first, and here uh, the giant dildo uh, gets pulled out, and Richard C. Meyer is just really thrilled. Really looking forward. And you know, and on a second look over. She actually looks impressed. The oh, first time I very, saw it, she was yes. Yeah, the first time I saw it. the picture, she it kind of looked like she wasn't impressed, mm. which was kind of impressive in itself. But now, on a second no, look she over, got, she got very excited when she saw the yes, saw the ore dildo. Yeah, she she does look impressed. Uh, she's getting uh, you know, that giant dildo rammed into her, and Richard C. Meyer is. Really liking that, guys. Uh, now he's intrigued as they fist her. 
Uh, now he is grabbing her tit. He's no. That's when he was reaching down further. Oh, yes. Uh, then we have uh, both him and his date uh, really admiring this dude's crotch that's on the back of my head. <laughs> really admiring it. So is the guy next to Meyer. This guy's crotch must be impressive. It was impressive. I was okay. That. All right. Uh, now Richard Meyer chokes his date as he watches longingly, wishing to be the girl, getting double teamed. Yes. Now Richard Meyer and his new friend, I'm guessing, or, or new acquaintance, <laughs> uh, watch <laughs> as the girl continues to get, you know, just railed yeah. uh, by multiple men. Uh, and now this is, I guess, the picture Vicky described uh, when the chick is... Uh, the chick Richard Myers' date uh, grabbed a f- finger full of cum off a table and started licking it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, lastly, they uh, look longingly at the chick who looks longingly back at them. While so they, licking the cum off of her own face. Yes. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. Uh that was that. We have a clip to play. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, grab it. Uh, so, Vicky, <laughs> why don't you uh, entertain the chat? Uh, why <laughs> don't, don't you answer any questions chat. that the chat has? Chat, do you have questions <laughs> for Vicky about this porno? Because if you do, now would be a good time to ask. <laughs> yes, Hargrave, her face. Those things happen. Uh, Bilky Bogan says, Perch Comics may interview nude comic artists, but Richard attends pornos. Yes, indeed. That's a step up. Big Daddy says, I think I would have respected Richard more if he pulled out his prick and started railing one of these roasties rather than standing around like a cuckold. Yeah, I, I could see where you're coming from, Big Daddy. Um... Lunga's asking Jack Stafford how his blow-up doll is doing. And hello, Wendy B. I believe this is from 2016, actually, when this happened. So, no, I did not flick my bean to it, Big Daddy. I was actually quite uncomfortable the entire time. It was just gross. Um, sorry. I, I, I can't really, I don't normally watch porn, so this was not um, my usual ballywick. Um, Jeffrey Brown, I'm not answering the question. What was the question? I, I, hey, Vicky, were there any black guys in the gangbang that his girl would get horny for and leave him? Well, no, actually, there was one black dude in the room, but... Um, she seemed to be more turned on by the chick and the um, dildo. Honestly, um, Retrographic Book says, Grab an oar will never be the same again. Yes, that is why I continue to repeat it. Um, Colonel Morg says, They should have called Dale Keown to be in this instead of Zach. Well, you know, if, if they were paying, Dale apparently could use the money. Um, yeah. And Pumafis says, so gross you watched the whole thing, LOL. Yes, it is gross that I watched it. It is gross. I, it was gross, and I feel gross for having watched it. Yes, but somebody had to sacrifice in order to offer you guys screenshots for the stream, and it wasn't going to be Dean. It definitely was not going to be me, guys. No, it was not. I, uh, I respect myself too much. <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> so, uh, Stafford have... says grab a whore grab a whore oh that's clever grab a whore that is clever that is clever alright so we're gonna watch this clip um oh you made me disappear again. I did I did I did alright yeah give it a sec And uh, let's watch this, guys. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
Bunga says, see, to me, someone enjoying sex isn't a degenerate. So, someone who goes after someone's kids is. <clears throat> well, I think the problem is um, coming up right here. It's, it's not so much. Um, now, look, look, I, it, it is degenerate. Like, the not not so much enjoying sex, I would say, but the, the public display is totally there's a reason why kinks used to be private um but it's comes around to the dark roast okay uh there seems to be an argument going on in the chat uh but let's uh let's just ignore that let's have fun with this guys uh heather antos is a cum dumpster <laughs> who who got a job at Marvel because Jordan, what's his name? Not Jordan Peterson. That's like the woke Canadian guy. Jordan White uh, is a um, sad sack perv who jacked off to her the first, like, this is it. So the story is that she went and saw him at a convention. It's like, I'd like to be an editor. And he's like, oh, this is going to be a hard sell for <laughs> HR, <laughs> like Jordan White's going to go to Marvel HR. I really need you to, to to hire her. My spank bank is getting incredibly low. Spank bank is the mental image you have of women when you jack off to them. Um, so she's an idiot, but also tied in with Susan Auger. She's a weird thing is like she's got all the super cucks at Marvel kind of snowed that she's amazing. Like they openly flirt with her, but. I just feel like there's a freaking disaster brewing because she's not making a lot of money. And um, then uh, <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. The funny thing is that I saw a couple of the the, uh, the milkshake girls, and it was very, very, very odd. The milkshake girls were all of a sudden, like 80% of the associate editors were female, and none of them had any experience. They are literally just work girlfriends for these creepy middle-aged or approaching middle-aged white guys who can't get any girl to talk. The funny thing is people are like, oh, is there a lot of, uh, I think there's going to be like a Hollywood, like a bunch of sexual harassment suits and Marvel. No, these guys are cucks. Like literally talking to them, they're jizzing in their pants. Like they just want a girl around. To, oh my God, Heather just DM'd me and she said, LOL. <laughs> and this is jack off for like five hours. That's it. Like they know it's not going <laughs> Any farther than that. Shit. Kelly um, Desant, Kelly Sudaconic got into uh, the comics industry because Matt Fraction was dealing with a drug and alcohol pro program, and I'm guessing she just blew him a lot. Um, she's oh, so one of the other things I can say is that um, uh, especially with these, um, well, I was going to say female character. Should I call? Should I include feminine? Let's just say feminine is that um, I've had sources who give me like private communications as bad as people like Kelsey, Kelly Sue DeConnick, Dan Slott, Mark Wade, all these people are. As bad as they are in public, like real like self-aggrandizing, overly dramatic, this was the biggest shocker of the entire channel. They are just as bad or worse behind closed doors like they're gail simone just as bad or worse behind closed doors that was a good way to end that vicky thank you yeah good job thank you well thank you richard for giving it to me yeah thank you richard for uh uh having your own milkshake girl yeah i i have about what seven and a half minutes i think like that oh. of the dark roast um, that's all that's left floating around. And that was it. What was the dark roast? Could you, could you give some context? Um, he used to actually stream. I don't know how many people in the chat actually remember that, but Richard Meyer used to do live streams and, uh, he decided to do this edgy quote, dark roast stream that was supposed to be private. And he had sent out the link. Unfortunately, that link went around. And people um, saw it, got a hold of it. And basically what he did was talk like that for, I don't 
I don't know how long because I didn't watch the original stream. I never saw it. Um, he called a bunch of Marvel artists pedophiles. The Heather Antos cum dumpster seems to be the one that was talked about the most. But and, and as as egregious as it is, it's probably not the most egregious thing he said in the in the seven and a half minutes that I have. Um, but because he was going after her so much at the time, that is what kept everybody's attention. Yeah. Uh, Crypto Comics says, has a meme been made of him yet? Of him with the oiled pseudo-masculine beard? He shall henceforth be known as Zach Murphy. Yes, indeed. That is funny. Not, not as the meme doesn't exist yet, but it will now. I I'm think. sure it will. I'm sure it will. Oh, Royal Loop says he has yes. the audio of the entire Dark Roast. Oh, nice. Uh, hit it you or quit it. Share that with me. Says, yes. is this a fundamental Southern Christian group? <laughs> yes, definitely. One hundred percent. You nailed it. You nailed it. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Dark Roast was supposed to be Richard saying what he really wanted to. It's pretty tepid and just full of speculation and guessing and sour grapes. Yeah, and um, calling people pedophiles and cum dumpsters. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't very successful as far as like a an edgy Howard Sterny kind of thing would should have been because Richard just is kind of milk toast, despite the tit clutching um <laughs> you know so he he just doesn't really have that that personality so it came off as just sort of blah yeah i mean but richard kind of has said, the personality of like a human labrador yeah he doesn't have well you know his like, originality uh, just, just really very... dumb but very optimistic but yeah. really dumb when he has nothing to talk about, he shouldn't be streaming, which is probably why he doesn't do it. Yeah. He's just not very good at it. But then when he has nothing to talk about, he definitely shouldn't be giving like investment advice on another channel. Uh, it's just a really bad idea. But he does. And Morg and... says he sounded creepy. I've always thought he sounded kind of creepy. Well, he's like a yeah. human lab, lab, you know. Lab. Yeah. It's probably creepy. It's probably creepy. Or a fucking golden doodle. Yeah, golden, golden doodle. doodle. Stupid. Uh, milk toast is perfect, says Jack Stafford. Uh, Ether2468 says, The life of Zach Murphy is so mediocre. Did, <laughs> did he ever find a place to live? Didn't he go to, like, L.A. to be oh, homeless? Oh, he was going to go to New York. He was going to go to New York to be homeless. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't watch enough of his content to know what he's doing. Uh, Luster Dog says he's too lispy to uh, be roasting anyone. Hey, you watch it. <laughs> Don't make fun of lispy people. Uh, Jack Stafford says I get all of my financial, medical, and investment advice from CG YouTubers. Oof. Can't even think of something clever to say to that. It's just mind numbing. Yeah, it's just a terrible, terrible advice. Terrible uh, idea. Are, are you going to invest your money in uh, Ribbit coins? You know, uh, appears to be real gold. No, in invest your money in all these new, quote, crowdfunding sites that they're, they're all building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lose your shirt. I don't know. Is this a dig at you? Because if so, I don't think they heard the news. Oh, madness and victory in victory oh guess what um the magistrate has recommended that the default be set aside based yeah. on my motion to dis and accepted my motion to dismiss yeah the or motion to vacate default judgment uh so do i don't have one but thank you yeah now you got to mention that i know that's that's great uh, Jeffrey and Brown. And it only cost me eight dollars. And think of all the money Preston has spent to get it. Uh, Jeffrey Brown says, uh, "Hey, Dean, do you think Richard's date is into black women?" 
I don't, I, I mean, I have no clue. I no idea. Yeah, I have no clue. She's into, I mean, she's into, like, uh, uh, just drinking up random strangers come. So, like, I mean, <laughs> she could be into anything. It's really, a, it's just a guess. Chances are she's into a lot. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Royloop says, fortunately, Vicky doesn't have to pay any judgment anymore now. Uh, and then he says, anyone who was hoping Vicky would have to pay any judgments just lost big today. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Or Yellow Flash. Bubba Fat or says, uh, as, as me saying in quotes, say hello to my little friend. That's, uh, it is little. That is very accurate. That is sadly accurate. Yeah. Uh, Colonel Morg says, oh, poor Captain Manning. Does he know about the news? Is he still alive? <laughs> uh, maybe not for long since the news came out. Somebody yeah. should do a wellness It'll be check. devastating to the Spurgs on Kiwi Farms. Uh, Thomas Royloop says, Happy New Year to everyone except people who were hoping Vicky would owe hundreds of thousands of dollars. They're going to be depressed once they find that out. That is, that is very true, especially is Captain true. Manning. Uh, and Martina. And Martina. Colonel Morg says, Someone check on Manning. Thomas says, Captain Manning is screaming into a gun. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Probably true. Probably yeah, true. Yeah, probably true. Uh, and then uh, Bicky Bogan says, the truth always comes out. What's coming up in the future for CG creators? Um, uh, well, I don't, I don't probably know. Probably more degeneracy. Probably. 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 I mean, it seems to be a trend. At, let, let's, you know, reminisce a bit about the list since it's the beginning of the year. We might as well look back a bit to the past we had um the kyle ritter mandy uh blackmail we had the video of kyle ritter shoving his um vape up his ass we had uh lola who used to catfish for dick pics that's tug's wife that's tug's wife um while Tug was proclaiming that she was being sent dick pics um, unsolicited. You have Yellow Flash trying to cheat on his wife with a meth head looking cosplayer, Gothic Sushi. Yes. You had uh, Nick Ricada recently. And Nick Ricada. Uh, so chances are it's just going to be more, more shit. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, it's definitely... It's, but it's all great it because it gives us something to laugh at. And I think that's what 2023 is all about. The year of laughter. The year of laughter. The, the year not for Red Pilled Griff 2. <laughs> Seems to be burning down, guys. It does seem to be burning down. But. Yep. We don't like to keep you here when we have no more content. And that was it, guys. That was, yeah. That, that was, was it. it. But, but if you like the stream, make sure to like it. Make sure to share it because this was great stuff. We had great views this stream. <laughs> uh, more views than usual. I wonder why. Gee, I, I wonder. I wonder why. Uh, 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 MH Comics Invictus says, If you would have told me last year, D&V would expose Zach's porn club. Need alcohol. <laughs> all right guys you all have a wonderful night oh mark brooks says zach was just there to buy new shoes he couldn't find anyone to help him <laughs> <laughs> that was great that was good hope you're having a happy new year mark brooks you all have a wonderful night we will see you all next time good night good night